the ranking member Stefanik uh, for her remarks. Thank you, Chairman Langevin. The National Security Commission on Artificial Intelligence is a critical step forward that I am proud to have championed in the House with my colleagues on a bipartisan basis. And today's hearing is a culmination of years of hard work of our commission. Chairman Schmidt, Vice Chairman Work, Commissioner Clyburn, and Commissioner Louise, thank you for serving on the commission and for testifying today. Your efforts will serve as a blueprint for how our country will respond to develop and lead the world in artificial intelligence capabilities. As we know, AI not only brings immense technological opportunities and innovation, but AI will also bring significant risks as our adversaries will deploy AI to challenge American interests and securities on our shores and abroad. And importantly, as you laid out in your final recommendations, AI will affect every facet of life going forward, from civil society to our economy and of course, national security. For the Department of Defense specifically, this final report is stark in its assessment. China will surpass the United States in AI leadership and win the innovation race if we fail to invest in emerging technologies and if we fail to take a whole of government approach to AI. The impact on our national security is profound and disturbing. And the report concluded that China will achieve superiority over the U.S. within the next decade if we don't solve our organizational and investment challenges by 2025, just four years from now. We face hard choices given our limited resources to maintain that technological advantage over China. Future conflicts will take place on an AI battlefield, and we must consider the future of systems that are not AI enabled. Simply put, DOD must be willing to take on risk and Congress should support those efforts. Further, the U.S. cannot win this competition if we don't have the right workforce. The Commission highlighted our talent deficit and concluded this problem is the greatest impediment to being AI ready by 2025. Chairman Langevin and I are committed by, to solving this talent deficit. And last year, we introduced legislation to retain technical talent here in the U.S. I also look forward to hearing more about the Digital Service Academy recommendation and other ways we can develop the necessary workforce within the DOD. Alternatively, our private sector is driving many of the advancements in AI, and we should encourage increased collaboration between the department and private sector partners. This subcommittee understands the issues many companies have interacting with DOD, primarily the onerous acquisition process. This report underscores the importance of reducing red tape so the department doesn't hinder cooperation with the private sector. Again, I'm very proud of the work accomplished by this commission and the work that we did to include many of the recommendations in last year's NDAA, but more work must be done. Our warfighters must have most advanced technological capabilities to deter and defeat our adversaries in an AI environment. To, to improve the lethality capabilities of our forces, we must continue supporting the Joint Artificial Intelligence Center and enable the services and combatant commands to develop, tailor, and deploy AI systems to the battle space. I look forward to the presentation today and the discussion, and I yield back. 